Just the fact that they are so young, they have no expectations. You know, sometimes that can be good and that sometimes that can be bad. I think it's just working in our favor this year. Um, our young ladies, um, we've been talking to them a lot about being very intentional with their actions um, on the field, off the field as well in their classrooms, but, you know, definitely on the field during practice, um, being really diligent with what they're doing. And they just have really bought in with those things and just understanding that they need to be accountable for their actions. Again, I've said it before, but, you know, we did a lot of own it, you know, after the games and just hearing them say those things that they need to own um, and sometimes even in the middle of the game when I have a pitcher that knows they threw a flat pitch or a middle pitch they'll like look at me and they'll just say my bad like those things are amazing to be able to see these young ladies again take ownership of um, the things that they need to get better at but also then in practice when we talk about it just taking advantage of the opportunities they have to get better at those things. Every single one of them are grateful for the opportunities that they've been given. Um, they're not taking it for granted. Um, we have some young ladies that, you know, are fortunate enough to be starting, and they have come up to me at times and just said things that blow my mind because they're doing so well, and they're just like, they say things like, I'm just scared I'm going to get taken on the lineup. And sometimes in my head, I'm like, you're crazy. Like, you're doing amazing. Um, but they have that type of fortitude where they just really want it and they want to do well um, without giving up anything. You know, they want to be the best version of themselves, and that's really what we're talking to them about is just being the best version of themselves that they can possibly be. Yeah, so even Caitlin Nellard, um, she was a transfer last year, but she's also a transfer. So, yeah, we do have a good bit of transfers um, that are working for us. I mean, we have three new ones. They call themselves the transfer trio. Um, and so, yeah, they've been working really hard. I think, again, just the same kind of stuff, you know, just really buying in. You know, we're asking Ashton Patterson to play a new position. We're asking Bailey Perdue to play a new position, um, doing some different things for us. Um, but, again, just them understanding that they have to earn everything that they're out here for. You know, they're not at the same institution they were at but every single day they're having to earn it. And I think that's just something that is just a blessing for us is them understanding that um, they want it and they want to work hard for it. I think, you know, that's a little difficult when you ask a sophomore to lead. And, you know, we've talked to them a little bit, some of our younger players, just about that. Um, and I think as of late, you know, we just really have been talking to the whole team about leading themselves. I think if we just have a bunch of young ladies that are leading themselves, we don't have to turn to one person um, for everything. And I think that was getting to be a little bit much for some of them, although they are doing a really good job with it. Um, and they are stepping up. Just yesterday we had a situation at practice um, where, you know, somebody could have stepped up and we did. We had a sophomore step up and say, my fault. And I turned to her and I said, no, it's everybody. So everybody needs to be stepping up. And so, Jen, again, just talking to them about just leading themselves, I think that's really been important for us. Yeah, I think we just talked, again, just the other day, just about the fact that um, good and bad, we put a target on our back. And um, so not to use it as a negative, but we're going to rise to the occasion. You know, that's the biggest thing we've been talking about is um, let's use that target to our advantage. And um, again, staying within ourselves, doing the things that we need to do, um, but being diligent in our work and intentional in our work so that we can get the things that we want done um, and be productive in our at-bats, on the mound, defensively, um, just really them understanding that, yes, it's a target, but yes, we are going to do our job and we're going to rise to it.